Tau Ceti is one of the closest sun-like stars to Earth, about 80% the mass and radius of the Sun, and about 12 light years away from us. Because of this close distance and similarity to the Sun, this star is one of the most commonly featured systems in science fiction, and because of that, a lot of people have tried to find out what planets exist in the system. For a while, this was going pretty well, and only a few years ago, there were as many as eight candidate planets around Tau Ceti, ranging from small rocky planets to large gas giants. If all of these planets were real, it would tie Tau Ceti with the solar system in Kepler-90 for the largest number of known planets in a single system, which is pretty exciting. And most notably, two of these planets, Tau Ceti E and F, were in the habitable zone where temperatures are right for liquid water to exist. Unfortunately, I have bad news. None of the candidate planets around Tau Ceti have been confirmed, and none of them are even likely to actually exist. Several of them have been refuted, and even the existence of the habitable zone planet Tau Ceti E is dubious at best. So what's happening at Tau Ceti? Is there any hope for any of the current candidates to actually be real? And if there isn't, is there anything we can say about what potential planets could exist here? First, we'll go over all eight of Tau Ceti's planets and their chances of actually being real. Also be aware that because of the way these planet candidates were detected, only their minimum mass is known, meaning we don't know how big they actually are, but we know that they are definitely bigger than a specific mass. The first planet was Tau Ceti b, a hot planet at least two times bigger than Earth, orbiting at about tenth the distance Earth orbits the Sun, closer to Tau Ceti than Mercury's orbit. Its existence was proposed in 2012, along with Tau Ceti c, d, e, and f, which we'll get to later. If real, it would have taken about two weeks to orbit the star, and if its minimum mass was close to the true mass, it could have been a rocky planet. However, a study from 2017 tried and failed to detect Planet B. But interestingly, a different paper also did an analysis of the system based on the other known planets around other stars, and seemed to suggest that based on all known Tau Ceti planets at the time, it was pretty likely that a planet similar to B could exist. Essentially, considering the patterns of the orbits of other planetary systems, it seemed likely that a planet with a similar orbit to Tau Ceti b could exist. So there's a potential for this planet to be a false negative. Even though it wasn't detected, it may still exist in some form. However, that's only true if the 2017 paper's four planet model is correct, which would mean that Tau Ceti e and f would have to exist. So the existence of Tau Ceti b kind of depends on the existence of Tau Ceti e and f, which we'll get to later. Tau Ceti g is the next planet from the star, and it was suggested to exist in the same paper that didn't detect planet b. It's called g because at the time of its discovery, planets b, c, d, e, and f were all still considered candidates, so it got the g designation despite being the second planet from the star. It has a minimum mass slightly smaller than b at 1.75 Earth masses, and takes about 20 days to orbit the star. Like b, if the minimum mass is close to the true mass, this would likely make g another hot rocky planet. Planet G, unlike B, is still considered a candidate, and has not been refuted yet. This is because later studies found very weak evidence for a 20-day planetary signal around Tau Ceti, which, if real, would correspond to Tau Ceti G. However, this signal was too weak to be considered statistically significant, meaning it could not be used to confirm or disprove the planet, making the existence of Tau Ceti G dubious and unlikely, but not fully disproven yet. Tau Ceti c is the next candidate from the star, with a significantly larger minimum mass than b or g of at least 3.1 Earth masses. This could make c a rocky planet or potentially a mini-Neptune, assuming it actually exists. It takes 35 days to orbit Tau Ceti, which would make it hot. Unfortunately, planet c almost certainly doesn't exist. The signal used to detect it is correlated with Tau Ceti's rotation, meaning it could have been stellar activity mistaken for a planet. However, like B, a later analysis of the system, assuming the 2017 four-planet model, suggests that a planet with a similar orbital period to C is likely to exist. However, it's still unlikely, and like B, Tau Ceti C is not currently considered a candidate. Tau Ceti H is the next planet from the star, and it has a minimum mass of about 1.83 Earths between B and G. If real, it would take about 50 days to orbit Tau Ceti, and like G, is still considered a candidate and was found in the 2017 paper. Follow-up observations haven't detected the planet, unlike G, but it's close to the detection limit of the telescopes used, so it could theoretically have been missed. So, like planet G, planet H is dubious at best, but not fully disproven yet. Tau Ceti D is probably the least likely to exist, follow-up observations failing to detect it in all datasets. Like B and C, statistical analysis suggests a planet with a similar orbital period to D is likely, 
but given the fact that we haven't detected that, it doesn't seem that likely. If this planet was real, it would be the biggest one so far, with a minimum mass of at least 3.6 Earths with an orbital period of 94 days. But if I had to guess, I would say this planet probably doesn't exist. But now it's time for the moment you've all been waiting for, Tau Ceti E. The first planet close to Tau Ceti's habitable zone, and if real, would provide some evidence in favor of planets B, C, and D. This is because the 2017 four planet model assumes that Tau Ceti E, F, G, and H exist, so if even one of these planets doesn't, it would mean that B, C, and D probably actually aren't that likely either. So far, we've seen that G and H have a low but non zero chance of existing, so what about E and F? And if they do exist, could it be habitable? Well, first off, E's minimum mass is 3.93 Earths. Rocky planets rarely get this large, and keep in mind that is the minimum, and E could be significantly larger. In fact, Tau Ceti likely faces Earth pole on. Since planets usually orbit their stars' equators, this will mean that significantly larger true masses for all of the planets are likely. For example, if the planets have equatorial orbits, their true masses will be closer to the solar system's gas giants than rocky planets. Luckily, however, this is unlikely for two reasons. One being Tau Ceti has an asteroid belt that is inclined by 35 degrees, making it likely that any planets have a similar inclination which would lower their true masses. Second being a 2023 study suggested that if the planets do have equatorial orbits, they would have to be so large that it would cause the entire Tau Ceti system to become unstable in just 10 million years. Given that Tau Ceti is 8 to 10 billion years old, this is unlikely, and it seems that the planets likely have smaller masses, closer to mini Neptunes than gas giants. Given this, I would personally guess that Tau Ceti E is a warm mini Neptune and not a habitable rocky planet, assuming it exists. It's about half an AU from Tau Ceti and receives a similar amount of light Venus gets, giving it a temperature of 154 degrees Fahrenheit or 68 Celsius, assuming an Earth-like atmosphere, which is unlikely. I would expect E to be hotter than this because larger planets tend to have larger atmospheres which trap more heat. It takes about 162 days to orbit Tau Ceti. But none of this really matters because a recent study failed to detect Tau Ceti E, despite the fact that the telescope used should have had no problem doing so. This casts serious doubt on the existence of Tau Ceti E, and if E doesn't exist, then B, C, and D probably don't either. Tau Ceti F is the next candidate, and there's a large gap between it and where Tau Ceti E would be. F is about 1.3 AU away from its star, further than Earth and close to the distance Mars orbits the Sun. It takes 642 days to orbit Tau Ceti and has the same minimum mass as E, at least 3.93 Earths. However, assuming that F has the same orbital inclination as the asteroid belt, its true mass would be between 5.56 and 9.3 Earth masses, putting it well within the mini-Neptune range and making it unlikely to be rocky. F only receives about 28% of the light Earth does, unlike E which would have received 91% more if it was real. This actually does narrowly put planet F in the habitable zone, but given the fact I would guess it's a mini Neptune and not a rocky planet, it's probably not habitable. It's also too small to make any large habitable moons likely. Anyways, planet F was below the detection limits of the telescope used in follow-up studies, so even though it wasn't detected in those studies, it could still exist because the telescopes just weren't precise enough to detect it. So planet F remains an unconfirmed candidate. Tau Ceti I is the last current candidate planet of the system, and is different from the others in that it has a maximum mass instead of a minimum mass, and that maximum mass is 5 Jupiters. This was calculated in a 2019 study that suggested due to Tau Ceti's velocity and motion in space, it may be orbited by a gas giant between 3 and 20 AU away from the star, and the planet can't be bigger than 5 Jupiters if that orbit is correct. For comparison, 3 to 20 AU is roughly the difference between Jupiter and Uranus, so there's a very wide range of orbits this planet could exist in, if it exists at all. And there are two things that make the existence of this planet unlikely. Observations of the star by Hubble go back to the 1990s and rule out the presence of any large planets with orbital periods of less than 15 years. This means that no matter what Tau Ceti's planetary system turns out to be, we know there aren't any hot Jupiters, and probably aren't any gas giants closer to the star than the outer edge of the habitable zone. This means that if Tau Ceti I does exist, its orbit would have to be at the longer end of the 3 to 20 AU number. The second thing has bigger implications for the entire system as a whole. As I talked about my Planets of Vega video, which is similar to this one, a star's metallicity is extremely important to planet formation. 
Essentially, the more elements heavier than hydrogen and helium a star has, the more often large gas giants form around it, and planets just have an easier time forming in general. For Tau Ceti I, which is a fairly large planet to exist, Tau Ceti would likely have to have a pretty high metallicity. However, it doesn't. Tau Ceti's metallicity is significantly lower than the Sun's. This means that not only will planets have a harder time forming around the star, the planets that do form will, on average, be smaller. So this casts doubt on Tau Ceti I's existence, but doesn't rule it out. It's also important to keep in mind that 5 Jupiters is a maximum mass, not a minimum like all the other planets, so it could conceivably be much smaller and avoid much of the metallicity issue, though it would still be a problem. So those are all the current planet candidates of the Tau Ceti system, and as you can probably see, we've had a lot of bad luck finding planets around the star. Planets B, C, and D probably don't exist, but their existence becomes more likely if planets E, F, G, and H exist, but E and H haven't been detected, G was only detected extremely weakly if at all, and F is below the detection limit and can't be confirmed or ruled out right now, but it was proposed in the same study that proposed B, C, D, and E, which clearly hasn't had a very great track record so far, and I is just off doing its own thing. We know large gas giants in the system are unlikely due to the star's low metallicity and Hubble observations, but this has happened with other stars before. Barnard's star, for example, has had a complicated history of refuted planets, but only a few months ago we finally definitively confirmed four small rocky planets in the system. So, with all of this in mind, what could Tau Ceti's planetary system be like? This part of the video is based on my own speculation, which is informed by other planetary systems we know of, and some papers about how the metallicity of stars impacts planet formation. If I had to guess, I am optimistic that Tau Ceti does have planets, but I wouldn't be surprised if they are all small rocky planets, with very few, if any, planets much larger than a mini Neptune. This would explain why we haven't confirmed any planets yet, as they'd be too small to be detected with modern equipment. Tau Ceti's low metallicity makes planets existing here less likely than the solar system, but I don't think it makes them unlikely. But this star just having no planets at all may also be a possibility. But no matter what, I'm very skeptical that any of the current candidates are real. Even in the most optimistic possible scenario, I think that F, G, H, and I could exist, but even this is unlikely, and it wouldn't surprise me if all four of these planets are completely refuted as well. For now, we'll just have to wait until more studies of the system can be performed. Though one interesting thing I'd like to mention is that even though most of these planets are refuted, the letters of each are still going down the alphabet. Tau Ceti I was called I despite it being found after B, C, and D were refuted. So I wouldn't be surprised if the next batch of Tau Ceti candidates started being called things like Tau Ceti J and K, which are letters no exoplanet has ever received before. I think it's kind of funny that we could end up in a world where Tau Ceti's only confirmed planet is like Tau Ceti L, which would suggest it's the 11th planet in its system. But with that, that's where I'll end this video. Hopefully we're able to find plans around Tau Ceti soon, or confirm any of these candidates. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, check out my other videos about exoplanets and space exploration.